Professional skateboarder Ryan Sheckler and the Sheckler Foundation have touched countless lives and empowered people to be the change they want to see in the world. Be the Change is a call to action that defines what the Sheckler Foundation has evolved into over the past seven years. With the mission to help children in need and injured action sports athletes get back on their feet, the Sheckler Foundation has an impact on lives from coast to coast. You are about to hear stories of the lives Ryan Sheckler and the Sheckler Foundation have been able to touch with your help. The Slalom Tribe in Washington was the very first Be The Change initiative recipient in 2012. The kids of the Slalom Tribe wanted to build a skate park on their reservation to create a safe space where they can stay active and keep out of trouble. With the help of Ryan, the Sheckler Foundation, and the generous community, the Port Gamble Slalom Tribe skate park became a reality. Diagnosed at just 10 months old, Elise suffers from a heart condition that has placed her in almost a dozen open heart surgeries and two brain surgeries to date. True to the Be The Change mantra, Ryan and the Sheckler Foundation team paid a surprise visit to his biggest fan, Elise Kwan, to lift her spirits. Wait, there's one more thing coming in. Oh my God! <laughs> What's up, Elise? How are you? <laughs> I, got, I brought this for you. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna set these right here. Thank you so much. No worries. How are you? Can I get a hug? Yes! Oh my god. How are you doing? Good. Elise had been confined to the hospital for eight months, unable to leave due to the severity of her condition. Ryan's surprise visit did more than lift Elise's spirits. It gave her a renewed hope. While in Edmonton, Ryan also visited the Ronald McDonald House. We are happy to report Elise now resides as she continues to recover. She is hoping to be placed on the heart transplant donor list. Since starting in 2007, Peaches Neat Feet has donated hundreds of custom hand-painted shoes to children living with serious lifelong illnesses and disabilities. Peaches Neat Feet has created a family, a support system for kids, their parents and siblings across the nation. As the second Be The Change recipient, Peach's Neat Feet received support from Ryan and the Sheckler Foundation, along with $10,000 to further touch the lives of children living with lifelong illnesses and disabilities. The Sheckler Foundation was proud to have the Ashley Wade Foundation as its third Be The Change recipient. 21-year-old Ashley Wade gives tirelessly from her heart. She sincerely connects with children and their families and is changing her community. Receiving that basket was unbelievable, totally amazing just to see total strangers were there to help us. Ashley Wade is just truly unbelievable. She, uh, she's 21 years old, she could be out doing a lot of other things, but she chooses to do this for people she doesn't even know. She's my best friend. The Ashley Wade Foundation creates customized care packages, organizes pizza parties in hospitals, and gives Christmas presents for children affected by chronic illnesses placed in hospital care. Thirteen-year-old Carter is the Sheckler Foundation's Round 4 Be the Change recipient. Carter suffers from a rare form of eczema that had taken over his entire body and Asperger's syndrome, a type of autism. The skin disease had made everyday tasks like showers excruciatingly painful for Carter. Before the initiative, Carter had lost hope, both because of his condition and relentless teasing and bullying by the kids at school. He took it in stride, I think, as much as he could. We reached a point where he told me he didn't want to wake up the next day because he couldn't do it anymore. When my skin was worse, people would just kind of stare at me and give me mean looks. And I just wanted to be treated normally. And I was kind of done with all of that and I kind of just wanted to stop going to school. To imagine at 13 being so done with life and being in pain all the time I think he just kind of forgot what it was like to be a kid. 
and to just have a regular life because his life swirled around doctors and hospitals and medication and nothing that you would expect a 13 year old's life to be. Well, it was really hurtful to have people treating me really badly for nothing that's my fault. Encouraged by friends, Carter's mother, Dominique, entered Hope for Carter in Be the Change Round 4 in hopes to use the $10,000 grant to take Carter to an out-of-state research hospital. With the help of the Sheckler Foundation's Be the Change initiative and the skateboarding community rallying behind him, Carter has hope again. During the voting process, Carter was so moved by fellow finalist Taylor Piercy's story he decided that if he won the $10,000 grant, he would split half of it with Taylor because she really needed the support as much as he did. And when Carter won, he did just that. He paid it forward. After hearing how Carter gave half of his grant to Taylor, Ryan Sheckler made the decision to personally write out a check to Carter to ensure he gets his $10,000. Past Be the Change recipients, Peaches Neat Feet and the Ashley Wade Foundation also donated shoes and baskets for Carter and Taylor. Taylor Piercy was a Be The Change finalist who had suffered a traumatic brain injury and was seeking financial support to cover hospital expenses declined by insurance. In need of numerous surgeries, Taylor's parents struggled through this heartbreaking experience knowing Taylor would have to learn to walk, talk, and essentially restart again. I was here at the house and got a phone call from one of Taylor's friends and she was telling me that Taylor had just been hit by a car. So I rushed over to where she was at and there's fire trucks and flares everywhere. And I ran over to where Taylor was at and she was laying in the gutter. Um, then I had a friend drive me to Mission Hospital after they loaded Taylor up on the fire truck and we went to Mission Hospital and um, they weren't sure if she was going to make it through the night. Um, then they had to do the craniotomy, which is removing part of the skull um, to l allow her brain to swell. She had a broken clavicle, a broken femur, broken pelvic had punctured lung. When we found out that Cotter decided to give us half of the winnings, we were um, amazed um, for a complete stranger to be so um, generous, especially when he has his whole own deal going on, was just a overwhelming, wonderful feeling of generosity and yeah. support. The money that was given to us, we actually used to purchase a handicapped vehicle so that her dad could get her back and forth to all of her therapies, um, you know, without having to lift her out of her wheelchair and put her in a normal car. We just roll her in her wheelchair right into the vehicle. So yeah. it's, it's really actually, I, yeah. I don't know how we could have done all the therapies without the vehicle. And, by Carter splitting that money with us made that happen. During the foundation's Be the Change initiative, Taylor's parents also decided that they would split the $10,000 grant with Carter if Taylor won. They were awestruck when they discovered that Carter won and shared half of his grant with Taylor. The Sheckler Foundation also donated $1,000 towards Taylor's rehabilitation, and we are happy to say she is getting stronger every day. Through the Sheckler Foundation and its Be the Change initiative, organizations and individuals have worked tirelessly to pay it forward and help one another. These captivating stories show how the Sheckler Foundation educates, empowers, and equips people to be the change. Ryan and the Sheckler Foundation would like to give a warm thank you to all those who have donated their time, efforts, and money to help be the change.